The Kingdom Hearts series was supposed to take a break in the year 2021. Well, if this was taking a break, then I am so looking forward to next year. 2022, the series 20th Anniversary. Hi there, Kefi here. Today, we're going to discuss the impact that the 20th anniversary of the Kingdom Hearts series has upon the future of the franchise and what games we could see as early as next year. But before we dive into next year, let's recap the last year or so in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. First off, we had Melody of Memories, which was a bit of a divisive game at first, but I think that once most people actually delved into it, they were pretty thankful for the experience. The gameplay was fun, and it added just enough story that it piqued our interest to see what Quadratum could possibly be. The entire concept is just... wild. A world of fiction. And here I thought Kingdom Hearts was the world of fiction. Speaking of wild concepts, how about that ending to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross? We now know how all the characters made it into the future, including Ephemer, Skald, Fentus, Lorium, Elrena, even Maleficent, and some of the Darknesses. We also know who the traitor is. Lushu, the one who bears the sigil. But is he really the traitor, or is the Master of Masters the greater traitor? I'll let you decide. Remember 2.8, anyone? We got that for the 15th anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. And if that's any indication of what's to come, the upcoming 20th anniversary will be fantastic. We got Dream Drop in high definition on the PlayStation that year, as well as Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, a fragmentary passage, and back cover. All of those to tie us over until Kingdom Hearts 3. If we don't get a Verum Rex in 2022, I expect a similar compilation of Kingdom Hearts games. Perhaps Axel and Xion and Roxas go on an adventure together. Maybe Lorium and Elrena go searching for Streletzia. Or maybe the Birth by Sleep trio are in trouble in the Realm of Darkness. Either way, the possibilities are endless. We could even get a game where Mickey meets Brain on his visit to Scala Ad Kylum, and the two of them go on some interesting adventures together. One thing I keep asking myself is whether Donald and Goofy will accompany Mickey on his journey to Scala Ad Kylum. Because if they don't, well, there's an idea for another potential game right there. And with Kyrie training under Master Aqua, we have yet another idea. Have I mentioned Verum Rex yet? My personal hope for a Verum Rex game is similar to how Birth by Sleep was. Yazora, Riku, and Sora, all on three separate story paths, each of which will unite close to the end, and then you can play as any of those three characters. That game would sell like hotcakes. I'm curious though, what do you think the next game in the series will be like? Which characters do you think it will involve? And how will the 20th anniversary play into all of this? Will we get more Kyrie. than one Kingdom Hearts next year? Two? Maybe even three? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this or any of my other videos. Most importantly, enjoy your day, and happy gaming.